Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. My name is Paulo and I'm here again for another of my unboxing videos. This time we have a package that comes from DHL and it had a security check. It is the first time that happened to me that DHL previously opened the package and then they resealed it. And this is a package that I received. There's no mention outside, but you can see there it is. It came from Tibaldi. You can check their website at tibaldi.com. This is my second Tibaldi pen. So thank you Tibaldi for sending me this pen for review purposes. And let's see what is inside. This pen uh, the, the review of this pen came as a request from some of my viewers and followers in the several uh, digital platforms I am in, They're asking for to take a look at this other model from uh, Tivaldi. So I have here my Victorinox Swiss Army Knife. This one I think has a more interesting blade to open packages. And let's take a look inside. And the outer DHL packaging is almost gone. Let me take this out. I'll try not to shake the camera a lot and all the things, but Sometimes it's hard in these clumsy unboxing videos. The unboxing videos are not clumsy. I'm the I am clumsy. Oops. Okay. No. Then let's take this plastic away, and here we have the package that was cut was previously cut by DHL and let's hope all inside is well. And what we have here? The card they send with compliments, so thank you, quite nice. The box, that's quite similar to the box that I had with the Tivaldi Perfecta and now you can know that this pen is the N60, which I think means number 60, and with an M nib. And also a little Tibaldi bag to carry the box, very beautiful gift bag. Let's take this all away. Oops, everything fell down on the floor. Now. Let me put these, the Tibaldi bag here. Let's do it in a more beautiful way. The card there, let me have my knife there. And we have the Tibaldi package. Let's open it because I'm quite curious about this. Sometimes I don't look that curious because I take a, lo a lot of time, but uh, sometimes I like to delay the pleasure of having stuff that I really want. I like delaying it a bit. This outer sleeve, red outer sleeve, is quite hard to take out. It also it's also embossed Tibaldi there. And we have the beautiful black box with with a matte finish with the shiny logo of Tibaldi there. This is quite stylish and beautiful, very minimalistic. I really like this. I think it's all about simplicity and design. So I, I really, I really like it. Now, let's open this. I'm trying to put things somehow well, just to make a, maybe an Instagram, an Instagram photo. Okay, here I have the pen. The pen is called 
Tivaldi, this is quite hot, I think. Uh, the, the day is very, very hot here in Lisbon, and I think the, the people that brought this in the car from DHL, they had, they had very hot weather outside, so this, this is quite warm. This is a beautiful finish. And I'm getting lost of the of the way I I, I I thought this unboxing video was done. So this pen is the Tibaldi N60. The color scheme of this one is called Samarkand. I don't really know why what Samarkand means, if it has any kind of meaning, but I will try to investigate that. And this is a beautiful pen. I saw this pen on their website and some people ask me about this model. They have it in some other colors like yellow, green, red and black. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if I'm missing any, but you can visit their web shop at tibaldi.com. It's written there. You check their website and you can see all the, all the models. And I didn't think this pen would be as big as it is. I thought it would be a, a smaller pen. And why did I thought that? Because this pen is clearly inspired on a vintage looking and sometimes vintage pens were a little smaller and this one is quite big. Let me show you why I thought that and why I think this is vintage inspired. I know this is vintage inspired because Tivaldi has some vintage inspired pens as the Perfecta that I showed you before. But if we go to this great book, Fountain Pens of the World, let me try to squeeze this book here. We have this pen there. I will show you better in a moment. We have this pen there that it's not a Tibaldi N60. I don't think there is a, a photo of a Tibaldi N60 around here. Some other brands, no. But we have this page that is about Netuno and Tibaldi. And this pen is called Tibaldi Transparente, which means transparent. And oops, let me show you. You see, I think this is exactly, not maybe not exactly, but it is the same kind. Oops, I'm struggling a little bit. This book is very heavy. I think this is the same kind of design. You have a big pen there, a beautiful pen, not a big pen, with three cap rings, the same kind of clip. These modern Tivaldi is a little simpler. The same end jewel on both ends. So, but as far as I know, the pens here are all in the real size and this one is much smaller, as you can easily see. Let me take the book away. And let's see it inside. Oops. I chose this time to go with a medium nib. And I did that mostly because of you. I don't really love medium nibs or broader nibs. And I think that this nib may be quite wet because on the Perfecta, with the Ebonite feed, it has the same kind of feed. Uh, this may get a little bit too wet for me, but we'll check that in a couple of days soon. It has the same Tibaldi converter. And if I'm not mistaken, the kind of nib would be the same. So. If I don't like that much this nib, I can then exchange the nib unit with the Tibaldi Perfecta. And let me just show you one side by the two pens side by side. Let me take the converter away for now. And so N60 Samarkand. I'm quite excited with this pen and Tibaldi Perfecta black. I thought the rich black. I thought the Tibaldi Perfecta would be much bigger. And no, it's smaller actually. So this is a big pen. I would say maybe the size of a Parker Centennial Du Fold or a Pelican M800. So quite a very nice size. And 
the nib unit is the same, but the section is different, black, and I think this is really a beautiful pen. So, the Perfecta will be here, and let me show you again the nib that now has my fingerprints, and once more, let me try to focus the material for you to see. This is very beautiful with yellow, blue, grey and black. Very beautiful material. So, I'm really, really happy for this. Very beautiful, beautiful pen. And so, to end this video now, I don't know why it isn't focusing down there. I think maybe because of the white postcard that's too white for the autofocus. Um, so, just for finishing up this video, I want to say thank you to Tibaldi for sending me this other beautiful pen for review. I really appreciate it. I will make the review of this pen soon. I will ink it. I will make some comparisons with the other one and maybe with some other pens, just to have the to have more information. If you want to get this pen or this one that is already reviewed, you can check the review on my channel. I'll try to put the the link to the video there. You can check the review of this pen and uh, if you want to buy that one or this one, but you may want to see my review first, you can check the tibaldi.com to see their website and their web store. They have improved, I was told that they improved the, the, the checking out process, so it will be easier to, to buy from them now. And also I have to tell you to check their social media they are very active on Instagram and you can check them at tibaldi.official and you can check what they do. So, once again, thank you Tibaldi for sending me this beautiful pen for review. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the pen as much as I liked it, at least in the first impression. And... I will be back soon for more videos. I hope to count on you on that side to watch them and bye!